hey everybody welcome to the channel it's Robin here and this is my channel Oracle Rising so thanks for joining so I was doing some research on your fingers and how they play into particular parts of like your personality and how jewelry like rings could enhance these attributes and connect you a little bit more with your spiritual side. And I was like, well, I didn't know that, you know? So um, all these people, you know, wearing tons of like a ring on every finger, they've suddenly made a whole lot more sense to me. So I thought, well, I may as well make a video because it could help you guys out there with what you're planning to adorn your fingers with. And of course, do your own research, guys. This is what I was able to find. And you know, when you go and research your own stuff, you might not necessarily hit the same website as me or interpret it the same way. So go ahead and check it out for yourself. So, and I don't wear jewelry myself um, because I'm one of those people that like tinker away. Like if I was drinking a cup of coffee and I had a ring on it, I'd be that person like tapping my ring on the coffee cup and annoying everybody in the establishment. So anyway, um, I found that the, the pinky is related to communication and persuasion, which is very, very interesting to me. Um, and some of the stones that I found that would enhance this would be the citrine, amber and moonstone so you could really start choosing your your jewelry your rings very deliberately to bring out these attributes in yourself or you know maybe you could gift somebody with something you know so your ring finger is related to beauty and creativity and relationships, right? So this is a good um, location for green jade or rose quartz. Interesting, interesting. So your middle finger, and I'm not gonna stick that up um, for obvious reasons, is related to your spiritual journey, your ascension and your inner knowledge. Huh. So coral, pearls, and clear quartz um would be ideal for your middle finger so your index finger is related to your ego authority power huh. so blue topaz and amethyst very interesting so your thumb and i always thought it was really strange that people wear um rings on their thumbs until I started reading this and then toe rings kind of blew my mind. So maybe I should have, should have researched that too. But anyway, um, the thumb is your strength, commitment, and being free spirited. And this is best for garnet, moonstone, and amethyst. So there's a lot of power in your hands, you guys. And, you know, I came across this because I was actually researching mudras and I wanted to talk about popular mudras and what they could do for you. And I was just overwhelmed by page after page after page of um, mudras in different positions. And I'm like, well, how do I talk about all this stuff? I and mean, I found it a little bit impossible. But, you know, your fingers, when they connect because of the uh, electrical charges coming out of your fingertips and they create circuits when you pose your hands in different ways, um, different mudras will channel your electricity in your body to react in, in designed ways for you. So, you know, there's mudras for health, there's mudras for mood, try saying that 16 times fast you know, for your spirituality, for your knowledge, you know, there's just so many different ways of doing mudras and there's yoga mudras, there's meditation mudras for spirituality, you know, like I said before, health knowledge um, to help you open up your chakras. It's just one of these topics that never ever ends. It just keeps on going further and further and further. And if you're looking for jewelry to help heal yourself as well, that's something that's also quite valid, you know, but be careful when you start using jewelry for um, health purposes that, 
you know, you're not just eliminating your Western physician or anything like that because I think that's a slippery slope, but you can definitely use necklaces and bracelets. I know people swear by those copper bracelets. They're, they're supposed to enhance something. Um, again, it's not my thing, but I know people that wear them and they seem quite fit um, and uplifted, but you know, when you're when you're planning on putting something new on your body, you might want to check out, is it the best for you? Is it the best location for it? Um, I have a hypothyroid, so I did get this um, particular necklace uh, years ago. Actually, I got a necklace and a bracelet, but it was so heavy and clunky, it would just drove me nuts, so I didn't wear it anymore. But it was really nice and I appreciated the thought behind it. And I did do some reading and I could see that it actually does um, assist the thyroid. So you can really enhance who you are through wearing jewelry and doing mudras and just doing a little bit of research on natural ways of doing things instead of, you know, maybe you could do a mudra or wear a specific type of jewelry instead of popping um headache tablets all the time you know so and i'm all about things that are natural you know if i can have a natural way of doing something i'll tell you guys something else like and this is totally way off subject but you know there's even natural ways to eliminate pests and you know insects around your home because I don't like to spray chemicals around my yard. I, I don't know even know how we got here. But anyway, um, you know, because my dog is out there and there's going to be wasps and bees and stuff like that. And I don't want them zooming around me because I'm a bit of a baby. Um, so I just went online and I found a natural recipe, you know, using um, peppers and different essential oils. And I blended it in a spritz bottle and I sprayed it around there and I did the same thing for um, natural mosquito repellent because I don't want anything on me that you know my dog is going to touch her nose um, and you know make herself sick and you can use things like you know citronella and citrine and, and stuff like that natural things to really enhance your lifestyle and you can do this at home. You know, you can get whatever, your lemongrass or your essential oil, peppermint and, and whatever. Like find natural and healthy ways to do things. And I really wanted to talk about jewelry for spirituality, but I am a bit of a chatterbox. And one thing does lead to another, as does the research into your spiritual life and your ascension. So... Um, I hope there was bits and pieces in there that you guys enjoyed and that you learned something from and maybe you think, oh, I'm going to check that out a little bit deeper, right? Because that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you guys. And um, I feel like I really deeply need a coffee right now because it's quite early here. So I just wanted to say to you guys, namaste and, and do stay blessed out there and just sending love and light, many blessings. Okay, uh, bye for now, guys. Bye.